Okay, uh, thanks for tuning in to Boxing Wave. Now, I, I really don't know how, how, how true this really is. All right, I, I checked YouTube today and I saw on Concrete Jungle's page that there's uh, a lot of internal problems going on with Golden Boy, okay? And that Al Heyman might, Al Heyman and Richard Schaefer might split and make up their own promotion company and uh, leave Golden Boy, you know, and actually leave with a lot of Al Heyman fighters to start their own promotion business. And, um, I just did a video on Mikey Garcia and Gamboa not fighting, you know, and it's like, damn, I, I just already told you how frustrated I am for that fight not happening, and a lot of fights not happening. Now, this seems like it's, it is big, you know, um, I don't know if it's a rumor or not, I mean, it is a rumor, but if there's any truth to this, you know, this could be really dramatic here, this could be really bad, I mean, look how hard it is for fights to get made now. Um, the fact that you know, I, I you know what, and I don't know why this is what this is all about. I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming, okay. I don't know. I'm just assuming. It has a lot to do with Oscar De La Hoya. That now him and Richard Schaefer's not getting along. Uh, we know Oscar has been in and out of rehab. Um, from what I'm seeing in a promotion of these fights, Al Schaefer. I'm sorry, Al Schaefer, right? Al Schaefer. Really? Like, Al Schaefer. Richard Schaefer has been the face of Golden Boy when it comes to promotions. I mean, he seems like the guy that's putting everything together. He's going to all of the press conferences. He's always there. And as far as the fights that's being made, all these fighters are pretty much, a lot of these fighters are Al Heyman fighters. It seems like every week he's signing big names seems like everybody's fighting under Al Heyman. Um, so, I figure these guys are like, you know, what do we need Oscar's name for? I mean, this is Golden Boy, this is his thing, you know, what do we need to include him? I'm, that's what I'm assuming, all right? I do not know if it's true, but that's what I'm assuming. Let's make our own promotion company and let's get out of here. Um, that could be a, a real issue because we already have a cold war going on with top rank, not one of the fight guys from Golden Boy, guys that's on the Showtime, not fighting guys that's on HBO. Uh, and then now, it's not even all about top rank and Golden Boy. It's like guys that's just not even that's fighting on HBO, it's just not fighting on Showtime. You know, it's just it's, it's, it's out of control now. A lot of fights are not being made. And what happens with the fighters that's still on Golden Boy that want to fight fighters that's, you know, that goes to this new promotion company, under Al Heyman? I mean, the majority of them are with Al Heyman already, so are they going to leave? How many of them are going to be stuck at Golden Boy because they're under some kind of contract? This sounds like there's going to be a lot more issues if they don't work this out and settle this amongst each other, which they, I, I would hope they would find some way to try to work around this, this could be another huge, huge problem in boxing. Like, this would put it over the top. Like, this means, like, nobody, unless they are Al Heyman fighters, are only going to fight Al Heyman fighters. And whoever's left on Golden Boy, I mean, just... And all the legal issues that's going to come behind the scenes with this, this would be a, a big deal. Maybe maybe it wouldn't, but I don't know. You know, Maybe it won't be a cold war between Golden Boy and his new promotions, Al Heyman, Richard Schaefer promotions. This sounds like another headache like that no boxer fan want to deal with. Like, there's already fights that we want to see that's not happening. Um, this is just getting out of control, man. With this, uh, with these promoters, man. I, I, you know, I know at the end of the day, a lot of you guys want to come in here and just say this is a sport, not a business. This is a business, man, and it's sh it's showing every year it gets worse. It's all about the money. So these promoters, these are the guys that's putting the fights together, and the fighters are not, you know, they're pretty much going along with it. You know what I'm saying? 
except the bosses, you know, you got the Miguel Cotos and you got the Floyd Mayweathers, the guys that can pretty much bounce around and do whatever they want. But most fighters, they don't have the choice in doing that, you know, they're locked into contracts where they got to work at things out with the promoters. And, you know, I'm not even going to get into that. So, I don't know, you know, like I said, I, I'm going to put the link up. I hope it's not true. Uh... I'm gonna put the link up and see, you know, I, I I didn't see any articles on this. I don't know if there already been articles and I don't know if this is old news, but I'm just now finding out about it, all right? So let me know what you guys think. Um, we Last thing we need to do is more fights not being made, fights that the fans wanna see not happening. All right, so you guys, let me know what you guys think and um, subscribe to the channel.